Up at the top, we got the double Cooler Master logo right here with our removable neck rest and head support. Cooler Master's logo and branding on the back as well. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Cooler Master Caliber X1 gaming chair. I did receive this product from Cooler Master, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this gaming chair or you wanna find out more about the Caliber X1, the link to it will be in the video description. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the contents. Here's a look at all the included contents. Important thing I wanna point out that you'll notice on this box right here, all the M8 screws, flat washers, and lock washers are pre-installed on the chair, so please unscrew before assembling the chair. But this is all the parts and pieces. Now let's go ahead, let's look at the user guide and manual. So looking at the user guide and manual for our Caliber X1 gaming chair, when we open it up, we have all of our parts and pieces, all the components labeled for us right here, nicely organized. And then we have five steps walking you through the installation and assembly process. And then we have our completed chair. We have some additional information on the back side. Make sure you reference it for your safety. This also comes with a two year warranty and they have Cooler Masters customer service and contact information at the very bottom. Now let's go ahead, let's get this chair assembled. All right, so I finished setting up the chair. It took around 20 minutes or so. The instruction guide wasn't super clear on which side was the left and the right for the armrest. I believe I have it all properly set up and ready to go. Truly, it's as if you're sitting in the chair, the left is the left for your left hand and the right is the right for your right hand. That would make sense, but when you're looking at all the parts and the pieces, it's harder to figure out than that. But let's go ahead, now that it's assembled, let's look at the chair up close. Up at the top, we got the double Cooler Master logo right here with our removable neck rest and head support. Cooler Master's logo and branding on the back as well. I love the two-tone stitching here. So we have our black stitching and then our purple stitching as well. Really nice attention to detail there. You may notice on the side our caliber branding and tag. Look at that finish on the fabric. Very nice. Then we have our adjustable lumbar support here. You can press all the way down. You can pull it all the way up or anywhere in between. Really easy to adjust. And then you'll see it from the back side. It's hidden there. So keep that in mind. It just has a nice elastic band and strap there, keeping it in place, but you will have to have that on the chair. Look at the stitching, the fabric, the pattern at the bottom here. Very, very nice, high quality. And on the sides, we have our nice adjustable armrests. So we can adjust the height. We can go higher or lower. We can also rotate them in or out. Harder to do one-handed, but you get the idea there. So we have all of that play and movement. And then we can also press this button and we can move them to the left or to the right so we can really finesse how we want everything. Same for the other side. Let me show you that too. When we go ahead, we'll press this lever. Nice chrome polished finish there. So just the attention to detail. I mean, even Cooler Master's logo in the plastic there on the side. Look at the bottom. On this side, we have our adjustment right here so we can tilt this back as desired, depending on the angle that you want for the chair. And then the very bottom, a nice finish with large rolling caster wheels, five of those on there. And we have our adjustments here. Again, one's gonna be for tilt and one's gonna be for height. I do wanna point out, unfortunately, during the process, I did break one of them, so be careful. Where's the crack? Can we see it? One of mine has a crack on it. Okay, so it's this one somewhere. It's gonna to be too hard to see, but I did crack the plastic here, pressing it in. So just be gentle. That's my advice to you as you slide that on during the installation process. Now let's go ahead, let's tilt the chair all the way back. I mean, check that out, look at that. I call that nap mode activated. Amazing. If you wanna lay all the way back, you can, or obviously somewhere in between that lie flat position and an upright position. So I actually have a couple other Cooler Master gaming chairs here in the studio and I thought I'd go ahead and bring them all together. So to the left, we have the X1, in the middle we have the R1, and to the right we have the R2C. Each of these chairs very similar to each other in design, pattern, aesthetic, you get the idea. But there are a couple of key differences, obviously color being one of them, quality of materials as well. I'll point that out 
right here in this video. So first up in the middle, the R1 is going to be a great budget friendly option. If you're looking for an entry level Cooler Master gaming chair, going to have some great features for you with the armrest, adjustable height, you know, it's on wheels, all of that good stuff. We have our lumbar support, a removable head and neck pillow you can use as needed. Then we have to the right, our R2C. This is going to have an upgrade in the fabric, stressing cooling technology, going to help you be a little bit cooler than just a regular gaming chair with the materials that are provided. There's also an upgrade in the fabric and the quality and the double stitched pattern that you don't get on the regular R1. So there's some improvements there that you're paying for that you may or may, you know, not find of value to you. Also hard to tell, but in the video, the very bottom, we now have metal construction for the base versus just plastic. So something else to keep in mind right there, the fit and the finish. Again, there's some subtle differences between the chairs. And then lastly, the X1 that we're looking at in this video, very similar, right? We got a neck pillow, head support that's removable. We have our lumbar support that is not removable. It is removable on the other two. You can unclip it as needed. So just something to keep in mind there. I guess maybe you could disassemble the whole chair and pull it out. But again, just keep that in mind. If that's something that bothers you, you don't really want it. Again, something you have to factor in. I like the lumbar support. It's really comfortable. But again, that's just my own opinion and experience. But with this chair, you'll notice at the bottom, the base is really key. So now we have that polished metal finish and we have much larger caster wheels, which is nice. So definitely an upgrade. And then it really comes down to the 4D armrest. So with this chair, obviously the aesthetic has the carbon fiber look, feel, fit and finish but we have that armrest that gives us way more functionality. So that's really what you should be looking for depending on the chair that you get. Obviously, depending on the make and model as well, how tall you are, you wanna make sure that you're getting the correct model for you and your size. That's probably one of the biggest things that you'll factor in. And then if you can tell in the construction here at the base, look at how that's designed a little bit more plump versus the angled steep side. So that's gonna be another comfort factor for you as well, depending again, maybe even how wide you are, how you sit, your profile, all that stuff. That's something you're going to want to consider between the designs of the chairs. But basically, you know, it's going to be the most angled, least amount of cushion. Then we have some upgraded cushioning there along the sides. And then lastly, it's more of your traditional chair with the cushion on the sides with just a nice, you know, smooth and flush finish going up to the sides of the chair. So the close ups, there's the base again between the three chairs. And then that double stitching pattern here with our cooling fabric and tech. First, just our regular stitching. And then lastly, again, double stitching, carbon fiber pattern, all of that good stuff. And then the different base right here and our 4D armrest giving us all that functionality that we do not get with these regular ones that just have the height adjustment that one doesn't do anything else and then this one we have the ability to rotate right and change the height but we don't have that last notch giving us the ability to fine tune the adjustments in or out so a lot of stuff to consider as you're looking at a gaming chair and a lot of great choices available from cooler master no complaints with the x1 I think the pillow's cool too. Definitely an upgrade with this pillow versus the other ones as well. So a lot of stuff to consider. Easy to set up. Anybody can do it. And you'll enjoy sitting on a chair like this for hours and hours and hours.